What's up, Internet? It's your boy, Kareek, and I'm salty as fuck today. Let me explain why. Now, unless you've been living under a rock for the past few months, you've noticed that the world's getting really excited for the new Star Wars movie. I mean, Disney's going ham with the promotion on this joint. They're, they're practically shoving lightsabers up our asses at this point. I'm not complaining because I love Star Wars, but I can see how it can be a little bit much. That being said, Fox News did a segment the other day where the anchors discussed the new Star Wars movie, and it really pissed me off. I ain't even gonna say shit about Fox as a network because honestly, that part didn't surprise me. But this bitch right here? There were three people on the screen. One guy who's a fellow fan, he was defending Star Wars, and the other anchor is a man and a woman. Both of them were condescending as fuck, but the woman really laid it on thick. Well, not only is it overrated, in my opinion, it's also oversaturated. Because of folks right. like guns <laughs> who will go on to Fandango and buy it two months in advance. I respect your little love for this movie. Come on, we feel bad for him. I, I saw this one last night because I was following the Twitter account. Who needs a girlfriend when you can have Star Wars coming out in two months, which I know. Hence why I wasn't even going to do a video about this shit, to be real, but something happened to me the other day, and I was like, nope, gotta talk about it. I had stopped at the grocery store real quick because I was thirsty and I wanted something to drink. I just happened to have a Star Wars shirt on that day. Not this one, another one. I have a lot. I'm standing in line at the cashier, and I take my debit card out to pay for my shit, and then the guy bagging groceries looks at me, and he's like, you a Star Wars fan? Dude looks like he's my age, maybe a bit younger, black guy, so I think I'm about to have a fandom moment. Side note, I love moments like that. There's just something magical about seeing a complete stranger wearing a shirt with your favorite fandom on it, and then you're just like, and they're like, back to the story. Anyway, so I answer them. Yeah, I'm a big fan. But instead of a mutual, my nigga, I get this shit instead. I can tell. He looks me up and down and then goes back to messing with the bags. I got so fucking mad, and there's nothing really wrong with what he said, it's how he said it. You know that little lip curl of contempt like there's something wrong with me liking Star Wars? I'm sorry, I didn't realize that motherfuckers who bag groceries for a living got to judge me for shit. So the cashier rings me up and after I pay, hands me my drink because I only had one item, right? But I'm like, no, 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 I want a bag. So she rolls it down a little ramp thingy to the guy and I turn to him and I'm just like, bag my drink. Then I took my shit and left. Have fun being condescended from your podium of plastic bags and minimum wage, bitch. The point I'm trying to make is this. It's not cool to judge anyone for liking something just because you don't like it. You don't like Star Wars? Cool. I don't like sports, but I respect your passion for watching men in costumes run around throwing balls at each other. The guys I watch have lightsabers, yours have baseball bats. There's no real competition there in my opinion, but that's all it is. My opinion. Shit like this hits a sore spot with me because I, like many others, used to be ashamed of the things I like and felt like I was less for liking it. Kids have a terrible habit of fucking with people who don't fit their concept of normalcy and unfortunately some never grow out of that shit. That blonde bimbo on Fox was probably the cheerleader type that laughed when her football player boyfriend beat up the AV geek in high school. Her name's Carly Shimkus. I half-heartedly looked her up after all this happened and the only thing I was really able to find out was that she used to be an intern for Don Imus. You know, the old white guy who back in the day called black female athletes nappy-headed hoes? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Now my mama taught me if you ain't got nothing nice to say, keep it to yourself. But I allowed Miss Shimkus to make me forget my home training long enough to type out this tweet. Twitter fingers go bang bang. What do y'all think? Am I just being butthurt? Are Carly and the grocery bagger judgmental sacks of shit? Have you ever had a moment where someone criticized you for liking something they consider nerdy? Comment below, I wanna know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more weekly videos. Oh, and follow me on Twitter and stuff. Links in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Later. Disney, I just want to put it out there that if you're looking for any more black guys to be in Star Wars, I feel like I'd make an awesome Jedi. Just saying. Kareem for episode 8! I'm not relevant enough to make that happen.